Hello comic book guys and gals and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. I'm your host, Bill Miller. Today we're going to look at some original comic book art. Many, many months ago, I got a couple comments asking for me to show some original comic book art. I don't have a whole lot of pieces. I have enough to make several shows, but not a whole lot of pieces. And I certainly don't have any art by any big name artists or any transcendent artists or anything of that nature. Um, I have a few pieces that are kind of cool and I have a few pieces that I'll always keep because I like that particular character or that particular uh, comic book title series. So today we're starting off with some art by an artist called Dietrich Smith. Um, he has worked for uh, DC, Marvel. Um, I think he got a start at Image, but he's worked for Boom Studios, I think IDW. Um, and he's been working since the early 90s, both as a penciler and inker and also as a colorist. He's worked on books like Victor Laval's Destroyer, the classic Battlestar Galactica, Army of Darkness, The Next, Chasing the Dead, a book by IDW, Naughty and Nice, Incredible Hercules, and I think he did a What If issue as well. But several books. Um, today we're going to look at three pieces of original comic book art from him. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right. And I picked these up from him. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe six, seven, eight years ago at Phoenix Comic Con. So we have the next issue number five, page 11. And Dietrich Smith was on pencils and Walden Wong was the inker. So we got a nice little picture of soups down there. And then he signed the artist wall. And that comes from this issue right here. The next issue number five. So let's find that page. So I think it's really half the fun is seeing the original art and then seeing once it's been colored and published, seeing it in its published form. And there it is. So if we can do this <laughs> side by side. Right there. And then the boot. And then up there. And then if we go down here. I can't see. Got that right there. So that is page 11 of issue 5. And in that same issue, we also have page 16.
and signed at the bottom. And again, Walden Wong was the inker. So let's find page 16 in there and take a look, see at that. There it is. A lot going on in this on this page. A lot of dialogue. So let's do a side by side. So there we have that panel, right? And here soups and this is a really cool ant view and then that last panel right there corresponds to that one there All right, very cool. So that is next, page 16. And then lastly, for Dietrich Smith and for today's video, we have Chapel. This is issue number six, page three. This is an image book. Um, Image is the company that I believe Dietrich Smith got started with. And what's cool about this is you've got Spawn right there, right there. He signed this as well. And I don't know but I think that he was also the inker. And this is chapel number six. And so let's find that page. And there it is. That's dialogue heavy too, isn't it? But let's do side by side. So, there's that inset. And there, you can kind of see how much detail gets lost when these files are reduced down to fit the standard comic book. There. And there. And there we have it. Chapel number six, page three. And that will do it for our original art for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments and I will make more original art videos from the vault. Um, I probably have enough for seven or eight videos. Some of them better than others. Uh, some I'll hold on to and others I'll, I'll trade or ultimately end up selling, I guess. But I enjoyed showing them to you. 
If you liked it, let me know in the comments. I'll continue making them. If you didn't, let me know in the comments, and I'll cease and desist from making them. But whatever you're feeling on this video, I encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted as soon as I release new videos. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. And remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.